Hi, so let's talk about closing and particularly the closing figures, the settlement statement, closing disclosure, HUD, it's called many different things. But the dollar spreadsheet, the um, form that you are gonna receive with all of the costs that it costs to close on that property, purchase price, the earnest money you put down, any credits that you're getting from the seller, all the fees from the title company, fees from the lender if you have a loan. So by law, your lender is required to give you a preliminary closing disclosure a minimum of three business days prior to closing. However, many times that is preliminary and there are figures getting finalized. What we're finding though is the lenders are getting these figures out to you and we don't see those figures. And many times the lenders are missing something. They've not received an update that there was a credit that we all issued for um, some negotiation for repairs or some closing costs or you know something that was going on in the property that you got a credit from the seller um, for them or you initially you know negotiated in the contract or you've decided to purchase a home warranty and that cost is not on that closing disclosure. And sometimes those figures change. You might have said, I'm going to get a thousand dollar credit from the seller and the lender maybe could only use $600 of that credit because of loan terms and laws and guidelines that you know they know about. And you were planning on that whole thousand. And so, you know, so things like that. So what we're really asking our buyers now is to make sure to share that information with us, make sure we can go over that information with you. Because sometimes we're not seeing those figures until we walk into closing or the morning of, or maybe the night before. And then it's too late for any of us to change anything because the lender cannot change your closing figures a minute before closing. Part of that reason with those guidelines that happened after the 08 crash was that they had to get those figures to you three business days. You had a chance to review them and make sure that you had an opportunity to back out if you were not comfortable. So if you get those figures and then those figures change, then they have to wait another three days before we can close. And we don't wanna to get to the closing table and find out that those figures are very wrong and you were not expecting to bring that much money to closing or you were expecting you know, a little bit more credit to help out you know, with some other repairs that you're gonna do and then find out that, well, if we change them now, you've gotta wait three days. And sometimes maybe waiting that three days is the better option, but sometimes it's not. So I just wanted to run through some of those scenarios of things that we're seeing. You know, no one's perfect. We all miss things sometimes. And so the more eyes we can have checking those figures and the more eyes we can have checking that information, you know, the title company gets figures from the lender. They act as our closer. The lender looks through it and makes sure that it's off of the contract, but maybe they miss something or maybe there's been an amendment since, or maybe you've decided, like I said, to add something in like a home warranty or something like that. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit and hope that helps helps you kind of think ahead of, okay, you know, what we need to make sure we're looking for and that we're all staying in communication on things. If you've got questions or want to talk about this further, you can comment below, you can send me a private message, or you can text or call 815-275-6610. Thank you and have a great day.